As of February 18th of 2024, there are currently 46 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is Great Sitkin in the United States, which is located on a separate island 26 miles east-northeast of the city of Adak. Since May 25th of 2021, Great Sitkin's longest historical eruption has been ongoing, which, despite beginning with an explosive phase, has since been largely effusive. In the more than two and a half years since, 1.9 square kilometers has been covered in a layer of basaltic andesite lava, forming a massive dome that overflowed three sections of its caldera. And now, I present this week's top volcano-related news stories. In the Caribbean, north of the island of Grenada, an increase in earthquakes occurred at the shallow submarine volcano known as Kikum Jenny. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, a recently erupted lava flow largely filled the summit crater of the Luatolok volcano, leading the lava to advance 400 meters beyond its southern crater rim. And in what is this week's top story, Japan's Sakurajima volcano produced a spectacular and energetic eruption on February 14th, representing what was its most powerful series of explosions since August of 2020. For context, Sakurajima is a stratovolcano located on a peninsula of Kyushu which connected to the larger island during its 1914 eruption. With twin peaks which rise a little over 3,600 feet above Kagoshima Bay, Sakurajima is the youngest vent of a large caldera complex known as the Ira Caldera. The large volume magma chamber which underlies this caldera has been feeding highly frequent eruptions at Sakurajima for the last 13,000 years. These eruptions are for the most part moderate in size, involving intermittent volcanian explosions which eject rocks and bombs of lava up to a kilometer away and generate a 1-3 to three kilometer high ash plume. Erupting continuously since 2017, it was somewhat of a surprise when at 6.33pm local time on February 14th, Sakurajima produced an unusually powerful and ash-rich explosion. During this series of explosions, which lasted several dozen minutes, a plume of ash shot up to a height of 5,100 meters or 20,100 feet and drifted towards the northeast. Simultaneously, a spectacular light show was created as large boulders of lava were flung as much as 500 meters into the air via a wide arc, soon after landing back on the ground up to 1,300 meters away from Minami Dake Crater and tumbling down the ash-covered slopes of the volcano. Yet, because such a large volume of ash was ejected, the force of many millions of tiny particles rubbing together created static electricity, leading to a rapid series of flashes involving volcanic lightning. As the ash plume drifted to the north-northeast, particles began to fall on Kagoshima, Kirishima, and Kadokawa. Despite the intensity of the eruption which occurred, the lack of pyroclastic flows and surprisingly light ashfall is most consistent with a volcanic explosivity index of a 2 on the 0 to 9 scale. Meanwhile, in the Caribbean, the Kikum Jenny submarine volcano, which is located at a depth of 600 feet below sea level, produced an unusual swarm of earthquakes beginning on February 9th at 11.14 p.m. local time. Seismic activity subsequently remained high for a full 27 hours, even producing a magnitude 3.3 earthquake before it subsided back to background levels. While this was somewhat unusual, this type of earthquake storm presumably related to changes in its hydrothermal system seems to occur about once every 18 months and do not typically indicate an imminent eruption. And yet, this volcano remains an alert level of yellow. The reason for this is not new activity, but rather that Kikum Jenny is so unpredictable, meaning it could erupt with little or no warning, that a permanent exclusion zone of 1500 meters from its summit is kept alone with a minimum alert level of yellow instead of green. And in Indonesia, Luatolak Strombolian to Volcanian eruption continued at a high rate during the past week. As a result, lava filled the western half of its 900 meter wide summit crater before overflowing the lowest point on the crater rim in that half on February 16th. As a result, basaltic anisite lava is flowing down Luatolak slopes at a slow rate, but has already advanced 400 meters beyond its crater rim to the south. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on February 17th of 2024. As a final note, I would like to thank my new YouTube channel member, Andy, for supporting this channel.